Welcome back to our weekly discussion and this week we will explore the benefits of Meta. Yes, in our modern world, as we emphasize the goal and the objectives when we do something. So what is the benefit of Meta meditation and practicing Meta? Many people are also curious if Meta will make us soft and easy targets for bullying. Will people take advantage of us if we practice Meta? Mm, wow, that's a lot to discuss today. Okay, one of the most important benefits of practicing Meta is relating to sleep. You know, nowadays many people have uh, sleeping issues. Some have insomnia, while others do not have sufficient deep sleep, uh, not to mention troubled dreams and nightmares that are triggered by their daily stress. Um, having insufficient rest can be really bad for a person. And personally, I notice that I become irritable in the morning if I don't have enough rest. Yes, Meta can help improve the quality of our sleep because a mind filled with goodwill is easier to be restful. Also, Meta help us let go of grudges. You know, sometimes unpleasant situation happen during work or during the day. And uh, before I, uh, practicing Meta, I find it hard to forgive and let the matter pass. So that inevitably affect my sleep because it will keep on playing in my mind. So it becoming angry is actually a form of self-punishment. And Meta is actually a very good cure for such anger. Absolutely. So dealing with difficult people can be extremely stressful, especially in our modern and fast-paced society today. We deal with all kinds of people, uh, not only physically, but also through emails, Zoom meeting, and even social media. People who dislike us tend to give us a lot of problems. At least that's how we yeah. feel. Yeah, I can relate to that. But the good news is that we are not alone if we practice loving kindness. Um, this is because there will be good people who will be attracted to our kindness and love. That way we will enjoy the friendship of good people too. So when we are facing a challenging situation in life, at least we have great good friends that we can fall back on. Yeah, I don't know if you believe in supernaturality, but some people reported feeling blessed when they start practicing Metta. And also, um, I think Buddha also thought about the the gods will cherish the those people who have meta, the unconditional love. Yeah, I think that kind of a feeling is wonderful and very mm -hmm. empowering. Um, furthermore, there is likely to be undiscovered knowledge waiting for the scientists to discover. So I would like to keep an open mind, believing that the God will watch over our back, can lend us confidence in our daily life. So I think there's no harm uh, in such belief as long as we do not become superstitious in the process. Yeah, I guess the scientist in me sees it in a more sensible way that when we constantly practice loving kindness, our countenance will become kind too. It's just how our facial muscles and you know, body mus muscles get accustomed to kind facial expressions and body languages. Other people can read these facial countenances subconsciously and we mustn't for forget about how hum about human intuition too. So other people can sense our kindness too. And when people are generally attracted to, especially people are generally attracted to kind people. Uh, therefore, you know, Meta can make us appear likable and attractive to others, like the charisma that we can, you know, shine through um, naturally and people will feel like, you know, magnetized by it. Yeah, it, it kind of connect people, you know. Uh, to add on to that, I think practicing the Meta also familiarize our intuition to recognize what is good will and what is ill will. Because we are constantly practicing Meta, we know what good will is and it's a kind of a subconscious intuition that we develop. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when this actually helps to improve our survival instincts 
and the ability to avoid people, things, places, or even situation that radiated ill will. Because we know what is good will, so we can sense ill will. And when we avoid ill will, basically it automatically reduces our chance of being harmed by them. So Meta can actually, when we practice Meta, it can also help us avoid a uh, bad situation or unfavorable situation. Right. It was mentioned by the Buddha that Meta can protect us from fire, sword, and poison. I guess sword means weapon. Yeah, that that verse, you know, when I first read it, it sounds supernatural. But, you know, if we think about it deeply, it, it makes sense and it's logical too. And not to forget, having Meta also helps us to concentrate better. Right. So when we have good quality sleep and rest, we feel energetic and happy upon waking up. When we have a good relationship with people, obviously our mind is going to be less troubled. It is, you know, therefore not surprising that a well-rested mind, a peaceful, untroubled mind can concentrate better. So again, this totally makes sense to me. And Meta is also good for interlife transition. What? Interlife transition? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's a term that I just made up. You know, in, we believe in rebirth, right? So death is just a transition from one life to another. So there's no death actually. Oh. It's just an interlife transition. Right. Mm, I know a lot of people are avoiding the D word. Uh, especially Asians or older people. Uh, death, the D word, death. Yeah, um, so the good news is Meta can help the transition process by removing any confusion in our mind. So what else can Meta help? Well, Meta can help us transit to a new life in one of the many heavens. So Buddha taught that there are 11 benefits from practicing metta and among one of these benefits the buddha says that you no know, if a person has practiced metta in his life uh, and remembering metta is not just sitting there uh prettily meditating metta also involves our action and speech so basically what buddha is saying is that uh, being a good and kind person you know you will be reborn in heaven so do visit our, our website. Uh, there's a blog that talks about the 11 benefits of practicing metta as taught by Buddha. Link in description box. Yes. So I know many would feel that when we are kind to other people, people may likely to take advantage of us. Ah, uh, yeah, that question always comes up every time we talk about Meta, and I understand. Um, but Buddha never teach or never taught us, you know, to welcome abuse. Yes, Buddha advises us not to harm others. It's always mentioned in the teachings uh, and in his messages to disciples and everyone in the world. Even if they, these some people may be harming us, may be doing something bad. Uh, but he did not say, let's stay there and, hey, come and come and harm me like that. He never said that. Exactly. So I guess uh, that is a very uh, logical point because, you know, we don't have to stay there and to be harmed. The Buddha never teach us to just stay there to be, you know, hurt by people. Yeah, Buddhist practice should be sensible and not pretentious. Yes sensible and not to be pretentious. 